Hello, I'm Peter Dow. We want to update you on the stories we're working on today. Here's the rundown. At least two people were taken to the hospital after a driver hit several parked cars in Watts. The crash happened last night on Imperial Highway just east of Central Avenue. Investigators are trying to figure out if the driver was speeding or was possibly under the influence. The mother of a missing Corona boy is due in court today. Jillian Godfrey is said to be arraigned on charges of child abuse. Prosecutors believe eight-year-old Noah McIntosh was killed by his father, Bryce McIntosh. He has already pleaded not guilty to murder. Well, time is running out. It is tax day. If you're a procrastinator and need to file for an extension, go to the IRS website and fill out Form 4868. Your new deadline will be October 15th, but you will be penalized if you don't meet the tax deadline. The late filing penalty is 5% per month on any unpaid taxes. A milestone for the new home of the Rams and Chargers. There is a celebration today to mark the topping out of the canopy at the L.A. Stadium in Inglewood. The Super Bowl will be played there in 2022, and it will be home to the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2028 Olympics. Now here's Danielle Gers with a check of our weather. Hey, Danny. Hi, Peter. So we have a cooler day on the way to start the work week. Well, partly cloudy skies, highs in the upper 60s and low 70s. So we had a beautiful weekend, but we are going to see some changes as we head into the work week. So many of you going to be just a couple degrees below average today, tracking some light showers to move in with an area of low pressure that that'll swing by to our north tomorrow. So even cooler for your Tuesday. The sun shines back Wednesday, then we're going to warm up nicely. Lots of 80s headed our way Thursday into Friday. Slight cooling, but we'll stay above average into the weekend. Peter, back to you. All right, Danny, thanks. We're always on at CBSLA.com. And remember to join us on CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. I'm Peter Dowd. Have a great morning.